Hey folks, PC7 here, welcome back to the channel, and today we're having a look at a game called, well, Farm World, just released on Steam a couple of days ago by a company called Be Alive Games. Boy, I'll bet they're not known for their zombie games. Alright, we're gonna, uh, well, we're gonna jump into campaign, because usually if there's any sort of a tutorial, that'll be where it is. And you guys know me, I can use all the help I can get. Huh? here we are. Before you can demonstrate your ability as a farmer, you will receive an introduction to the basic tools. You will learn how to blah, 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 blah and plant attractive plants. All right, so let's start here. An introduction. And go. Do hope everyone's doing well today. Thanks so much for stopping by and checking out the channel. Whoop. Okay. There's some kind of weird sound things going on. Yeah. Anyways, welcome to... Alright, that's... Uh, really kind of messed up. I'm just going to turn my volume way down here so that hopefully it doesn't interfere. Alright, so, introduce the most important operating functions of Farm World Mobile. Oh. Oh, interesting. It's not released as a mobile on Steam. Press the date display to pause the game. Okay, for example, if there's something important or you want to concentrate fully on building, give it a try. Okay, click. Ta-da! Now press the stop button to pause the game. Huh? Good. Can you also resume the game by pressing the right button? Gee, I don't know. Uh, oh, where to go, man? Oops. <laughs> Apparently not. Ah, here we go. Click. Woohoo! Well done. Maybe you already noticed you can move the map by touching and dragging it. Oh, or a touch screen. You got a mouse, scroll wheel, or a keyboard. You can also use that. Ooh, look. Zoom out. Zoom we in. Alrighty, and we can apparently. Wow, it's a pretty big place. Interesting graphics, very, very pixel. Alright, let's cultivate a new area in the park. To do this, press this button. Okay, and then select the ground tools construction menu at the top of the list. Alright. Oh, press this button. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Ground tools. Ground and paths, plants, fences. Okay, all kinds of stuff here. Ooh, chicken, pigs, cows, sheep, dogs, goats. Not sure. Rooster? Hmm. I take it it's this one? Alright, now select the bulldozer to remove objects on the map. Okay. Alright. Now clear a large area by dragging a rectangle on the map and confirming with the green button. Okay, anywhere in particular you guys want me to do this, or...? I don't see anything highlighted on the map. Alright, well, let's... Okay, let's try that. Uh, in visitors, it makes sense to build fencing for the animals so they can't run away. Select fencing construction menu. Okay, so fencing. Now, choose a fence and drag a piece of fencing to the cleared area. Okay, I was probably supposed to clear something that was already there, maybe. <laughs> Alright, so choose some fencing. Okay. Drag a piece. Confirm the building action via the green check. Um. I see. Okay. Alright. Alright, so now they want us to do a bunch of this, do they? Can you... Ah, uh, you can. Awesome. Alright. Let's 
put another one there. And let's go to there. This is actually, oops, pretty easy. Let's go to there. And then let's close it in. Nice. It even uh, joined that last corner because I wasn't even. All right. Okay. Unlocked from the animal house. Animal house. That looks like the animal houses. Choose one that is unlocked. Well, we know what we're going with. Big is. Okay. Now you can place the animal house in your enclosure. No, yeah? Oh, it's huge. No. I had no idea it was... Oops. So big. Maybe I'll go with a chicken coop. <laughs> there we go. Sure. Okay. Now select the new animal house and buy a male and a th or female using the button below. Okay. So, pick this guy. And, ooh, what? Chicken. Oh, I see. Buy a male. Okay. Buy a female. Let's buy a couple of females. No? Oh, okay. You have now built your first animal. In later missions, you will find out more about properly equipping enclosures for different types of animals. Okay. Continue. I guess we're done here, then. All right. Uh, explore more building options. You need paths to lead your park's visitors to the animal... Oh, oh! So Farm World is actually like an amusement park farm. Oh, I had no idea. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, so... Uh, select the ground and paths construction menu again. Okay, ground and paths, eh? Um, enclosures, ground and paths, okay. Build normal paths with this option, okay. Now, drag a section of path and confirm, okay. So, there we go. Bridges! Building option for bridges. People love bridges <laughs> because they like to enjoy a good view. Okay. Oh, you actually wanted me to make one, did you? How about... Oh. Huh. Well, I'm gonna make one here, man. Does that count? <laughs> Apparently it does. Well, I like that because a lot of uh, a lot of tutorials, man. If you're not right on the exact precise thing of what they said, that's it. I've seen everything from game crashes to simply that's it. You can't go any further. All right, you've learned the most important operation and building options. You've done it. You've reached the game target. I thought we were playing a game for Farm World. Okay. Do you want to continue with the campaign? Oh, I see. Or we can go back to the next tutorial. Oh, all right. I hope. Okay. Let's say no. And, oh. Maybe we should have... Oh, I see. We can do this. So we've done the introduction. What are these? Hmm, apparently nothing. Your small farm. Learn to be economically self-sufficient. Produce food, care for animals, care for plants. Okay. Well, let's try this one. See what they say. Before you can demonstrate your ability as a farmer, you will receive an introduction to the basic tools. You will learn how to... <laughs> Alright, it is your dream to set up and run a self-sufficient animal farm. Here you will get to know the most important options to harvest, produce feed for animals, and food for visitors. You have employees who will help you run the farm. Oh, okay. 
First, you should make sure you have enough room to store the harvest. You can find the necessary silos in the staff menu. Oh. Alrighty. Staff, visitor services, employees. I guess that would be staff. Eee! Build two silos, one for grain and one for hay. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, silo for grain, okay. See, I wish there was some kind of a thing that would actually show you what the heck is going on, because I have no idea how big this silo is going to be. Oh, that's not so bad, is it? And... Uh, sure, we're going to put right there. Lovely. Okay, is this a silo for hay? I don't know what the heck that is. Um... Okay. Apparently we're supposed to build. Now we need a farmer to fill the silos. You can also find him. You should place him between the silos and fields in order to keep the transport distance short. Oh. So we want a farmer. See, there should be some kind of mouse over here because how am I supposed to know which of these dudes is a farmer? I mean, are you a farmer? Oh, I see. Hmm. Keep the transport distance short. Yeah. Okay, that didn't seem to work. Are you not a farmer? Dang. Hmm. Yeah, we could really use a little more uh, mouse over style tooltips because it doesn't really tell you. No, there's no right click. Uh, oh, I see. Animal keeper, gardener. Oops, we hired a gardener. <laughs> farmer, there's a farmer. Uh, so, I don't want it there. Thank you. I want it over here, like here, man. Um. Sure. No, they won't let me put it out there. Okay. How about right there? Sure. Uh, how about if I put it out here? I wish I could get rid of that. Up here? Oh, there we go. I'm going to put it there. <laughs> it's probably not right. Now, look how the har farmer brings in the harvest. Okay, here he goes. Chop, chop, chop. Come on, farmer boy. Chop, chop. There you go. Now, what are you going to do with it? I just want to see if he actually brings it to the silo, because that's what we're supposed to be looking at here. <clears throat> I know, cows, he's a-coming. Oh, it looks like he's gonna hack a fair bit of this down. Uh, okay, so it is a good thing we put it there, because he needs to find this in his working area. So it'd be nice if they'd have told us this. I certainly would not have put this here. Oh, here we go. Now he's actually going to come, and I take it this is the entrance. Okay. And how did we end up with two of these? Um, there we go. We'll get rid of him. Okay. Yeah, he's got a long way to go, but... Okay, now select the farmer, okay. Okay, I selected the farmer. Where'd he go? There he is. Can 
Vendo Nuts. Okay, now I finally selected the farmer. What do you want? No, apparently I selected... Yeah, I have him. Come on, tutorial. Well, I'm not sure why the tutorial seems to have come to a halt here. Hmm. Oh, he's harvesting again. Okay. Alright, now select the farmer. I did! Oh, okay. Now you can identify the working area. Yeah. Shift the working area of your farmer so that it covers all silos and fields. And how does one do that? God. Ugh. Okay. How? That doesn't seem possible. Shift it so it covers all the silos and fields. Um. How? Nice if you told us how. Oh, well, that doesn't work. Well, you certainly can't move it anywhere. Hmm. I don't know. <sighs> yeah, I don't know how they expect to be able to shift anything here. Um, oh, wait a minute. Look at this type. Oh, move working area. Well, thank you. Oh. Okay. Fields and silos. There we go. Okay. Now take care of the harvest. The animal keeper can then get some feed for the animals from the filled silos. It's high time they are already pretty hungry. Okay. Once the farmer is filled, okay. Finished his harvest. Oh. Okay. The red exclamation marks if further needs. Milk and eggs. Find out what is wrong with them by click on them. Now try to find out what's wrong with them and put it right. What do you matter? Did a cow? Urgently needs hay. Okay. Unable to find hay or grass. Okay. And put things right. So, what the heck is this guy doing? Who's he? Farmer, gathering hay, everything's okay. You, handyman, nothing to do, everything's okay. Landscape gardener. Do we not have an animal feeder, dude? Is that the issue here? Um, employees, animal keeper, okay dude, no, we've got one of those houses there, oh, so maybe his stuff, There, let's try that. Now is he going to come out and actually do some work? Who's he? Animal keeper. No, everything is not okay, man. Farmer. Where are you, farmer boy? Man, it is hard to click on these dudes. Okay. Has nothing to do. Oh, 
Hopefully he'll fill that one. <clears throat> uh -huh. I'm trying to put things right, but for some reason my animal feeder doesn't want to... Uh... Well, they've got hay in there now. There's hay right there. What's the matter with you? Urgently needs hay. Is that not hay? Yes, that's hay. Alright, so the, as soon as this last cow eats, I guess we're good to go. Okay. Come on, cow. Do your thing, man. Animal keeper, looking for work. <laughs> How about I just fire your butt? Well, what's the matter with you? Urgently needs hay. It's right there, doughhead. Completely happy. Urgently needs hay. He's eating right now. Okay, all the cows are happy. Yay, cows! So we should be moving on to the next thing now here, people. Hello, people. Okay, they're keeping that filled. Good. Uh, okay, plants need special care. Ambient temperature. The wine grapes near the yellow grain field. Oh, okay, yeah. Too cold. Use a radiant heater so they can flourish again. A radiant heater. Huh. It says decorations. Enclosure equipment. Uh, what do we got here? Trough. Uh, fruits. Grains. Hay. Water. Okay, so it's not under that one. Animal houses. Fences. Plants. Ground and paths. Hmm. Certainly not under decorations. Uh, t -t -t -t. I just don't see anything like that. Um. No, nothing there, nothing there. Fruits and vegetables. What's this? Terraforming incline. Okay, that's all terraforming stuff. Well, I don't see anywhere for a heater. Where's, uh... Lawn of grass. Red grapes. External temperature too cold. Okay. Like I said, I don't see any sort of a heater here. Nothing there. Plants. So it should actually be in here. I mean, this is all about plants. Uh, no. Fields and fences. That's a gate. These are all just different fences. Animal enclosures are animals. There's certainly nothing unlocked here. The only things I've got unlocked here, I've already looked at. Animal keeper, gardener, farmer, a silo for hay, a silo for grain. Nothing else is unlocked. No, I don't want a silo. Piss off. Um, yeah. Hmm. 
red grapes, white grapes, cherries, all that crap. So none of those. Wow, I really don't know, guys. <laughs> You'd think that uh, if they wanted you to do something like that, they'd actually allow you to do it. Hmm. See, I still don't find... Just hang on for a sec. Yeah. Hmm. Nothing here is lit up. Well, I don't know. I have a feeling that maybe uh, it's one of these items and it just hadn't unlocked. So, I think we'll... Uh, what's that? Stones! Oh, can you sell them? Oh, you can. <laughs> there you go. Oh, well. Anyways, guys. Um, I think I'm going to uh, call it for this particular episode. We figured out more or less how to tend to some sheeps. Or sheeps. <laughs> You poor cows. How to tend to some cows. So, next time around, who knows what we'll learn. Probably very little. But uh, that's been my intro. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, of course, please feel free to hit the like, the like button. And uh, we'll have another look at this in a little bit. So, there you go. Available, just released on Steam. Um, very inexpensive as well. I believe it's about $5 Canadian. So, give it a check. Hope you enjoyed. Take care of each other, folks. This has been Species 7, having a look at Farm World. Ciao for now. <laughs>